Okay, so not having it back in the Game Caviar studio. You know what? I told you this was going to happen. We were going to bring back the Game Caviar weekly gaming news channel show. So, what we're going to do now is uh, roll through all of the major developments, the major news stories that happened during the week. And this video is Gears of War 3. Uh, this was supplied by J Beads and a I want to give a big shout out to OWS Sniper Chick. She's going to be uh she was playing with him on this video. I guess they're playing Horde maybe. I don't know. I've never played Gears of War 3, but I know he definitely told me to give her a shout out. So there you have it. Okay, like I said, this is going to be a weekly thing. Uh basically, we're going to compile all of the news that happened in uh in the video game world and just uh put it in one video at the end of the week and we've done this before so we decided to bring it back j beats has really wanted to bring it back and i thought it was a great idea it's another series for the channel and it's another way of setting us apart as you can see down at the bottom we have the news ticker that will um scroll through and i'll talk about each uh story separately and just hit on it here and there but yeah let's just dive right into it okay first off i read an article and i made a video about black ops 2 uh won't break sales records analysts are saying that this game will not sell more than uh modern warfare 3 or the first black ops i made a video basically saying that look i could be i can be critical of black ops or Call of Duty, but let's face it, this game is gonna sell. It's gonna sell a lot, and I believe it's gonna break sales records. Uh, this analyst really didn't have anything to go by. They didn't have anything to back up their their uh, theories or thoughts, but yet they seem to have made this article saying that Black Ops 2 will not make uh, will not break any sort of sales records, as if the game isn't popular anymore. Whatever. Anyway, moving on. This weekend, Battlefield 3 has a double XP weekend. I'm going to hit on another Battlefield 3 topic later on, but uh, for all you Battlefield 3 players, including myself, I'm going to be playing this weekend uh, double XP. I need the double XP because it takes me forever to level up in this game. So double XP weekend starts, uh, what is it, midnight? Pacific time, I think. I don't know, but it, it is this weekend. So if you play anytime this weekend, then you will get double XP. Uh, let's see what we have now. Uh, gaming, gaming, gaming industry took a hit in April. Uh, game sales were down 32%. Uh, there was no real uh, indication as to why uh, that I could see. Uh, I don't think that it's because of games not being popular anymore i think it's more because of the amount of games that didn't come out in april or um i, I don't know what to point the finger to i don't think that this is going to be a growing trend i believe the games will bounce back especially during the holiday season and the more big games that come out during the year um you will you will see the the, the sales rebound this is just a up or down thing april is just a bad month for video games but like I said, they're going to uh, rebound. Okay. If you pre-order Hitman, uh, the new Hitman game for Xbox, you will get a free uh, downloadable Xbox Live Arcade game uh, that is also Hitman. I don't know when exactly or how the game is going to be set up. I haven't seen any footage or anything. But I do know that if you pre-order Hitman, what is it, Hitman Absolution on Xbox Live, you get a code that lets you download a free version of an Xbox Live Arcade version of Hitman Absolution. Pretty cool for all you Xbox guys out there who love Hitman and plan on buying the game. Uh, Minecraft... Uh, is the best-selling Xbox Live title ever. It went on sale recently, and it just shattered records left and right. It's an amazing game uh, for some people. I couldn't get into it, but it's very popular, of course. That's why I break the, uh, broke the record. Uh, coming up this week, Max Payne is going to be hitting stores. GameStop, I know the local GameStops around here are going to have uh, midnight release. 
for all of those people who have pre-ordered. So if you have pre-ordered, please uh, check your local GameStop or Best Buy, wherever you pre-ordered the game, and see if they have a midnight release. This game is going to be awesome. Check it out. It's coming out on Xbox and PS3. Uh, let's see here. Uh, game Informer gave uh, Star Wars Connect a 5.5. It didn't really hit the mark as far as um, being uh, put together very well. And just by the commercials, it looks like it's going to be stupid. It looks like it, the game is dumb anyway. But anyway, a 5.5 really proves that point. Okay, rumor. Rumor, 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 rumor. There is going to be a, uh, you know, the Close Quarters Battle DLC for Battlefield 3 is rumored to be released on June 15th. And there's also a, a rumored Battlefield 3 Elite to kind of compete with COD Elite. There aren't any uh, specifics that have been uh, verified. This is all rumors. But you know what? It'll be basically the same thing. Uh, uh, and that's about it. Check us out on Facebook. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com. Uh, game caviar like comment and subscribe please help us get to a thousand subs by the end of the year i appreciate you watching this video we're going to be doing this every week this has been game caviar game news for the week of what is this the uh, may 11th 2012 i'm not having it in the game caviar studios professional as always and i'm out